What is up guys? My name is Ben Hall. Thanks for checking out my channel. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. So I got a message off one of you guys who had downloaded some of my patches off of benhartwellguitar.co.uk. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that is downloading those patches. It really means a lot to me. And he was saying that he was struggling getting the IRs to line up with the patches to get the sound that I'd made in the videos. So I just thought I'd do a really quick video on how to get the IRs from 3 Sigma Audio into the Helix and get the patches sounding the same way that they did when I made them. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I'm here on my desktop. I've got one of my patches downloaded and I've got the two IRs that go with the patch. So the first thing we need to do is get Helix Native loaded up into whichever door it is that you use, which for me is Presonus Studio One. So here in Studio One, you can see I have a channel set up that's got Helix Native loaded. Now this is a brand new install of Helix Native, so there are no user set lists installed at the moment. So I'm just gonna go to user two click this brand new preset and I'm going to import that preset from my desktop. So we just click import, go to desktop, find the patch. I'm going to load the IR version. And there's the patch loaded into Helix Native. Now at the moment, there are no IRs loaded into Helix Native. So if we play this patch as it is, it's going to sound terrible. All we have to do to get the IRs into Helix Native is click impulses, click import, Go to wherever it is you've got the impulses stored. Click WAV. Now Helix uses 48 kilohertz impulse responses. If you load anything else into Helix, it's going to convert it to 48. So we may as well just use the 48s that are supplied. And within that folder, 3 Sigma Audio has updated and changed the way they capture IRs. And they have these new files with the prefix ACE. I've not used these files yet, so I'm just going to stick to the old ones. When I load IRs into Helix, I select the whole lot and import it in one go. That way everything stays in the right order. But if you know that you only need one or two of those IRs, you can just select whichever ones it is that you need and load just those in. So as you can see, that's loaded those impulse responses into the first 10 slots. Do the same for the other impulse response that we need. And that's loaded those. So we've now got all the impulse responses that we need for this patch. So all we need to do is to tell Helix which impulse responses to use. We do that by clicking on each of the IR blocks, clicking this drop down, and selecting whichever IR it is that we want to use. So in this case, I want to use the Marsh 2512A. And on the bottom one, I want the Marsh 196A5B. And that's it, the patch is set up and should be working perfectly. Let's try it out. Yep, that sounds about right. One cool thing about Helix is the rest of the settings within the IR are saved with the patch so you don't need to touch those at all. So that's it, we got the patch working in Helix Native. What about some of the other Helix units? Let me grab my Helix floor and I'll show you how we get it working in that. Okay, so I've got my Helix floor out. I'm connected by USB to my MacBook Pro and I've got HX Edit opened up. So the first thing we need to do is get our preset into the Helix. To do that, we just click on a blank preset Click import, go to wherever the preset is stored. I'm going to use the IR version, click open. And that has loaded the patch into HX edit. And as you can also see, it's loaded it into the Helix floorboard itself. Now, as I made this patch and I've got a load of impulses stored on my Helix anyway, this patch is probably going to work and sound fine. And those IR blocks are probably going to point to the right places anyway. But for the sake of argument, I'm going to put them back to one and show you how you go about importing new IRs into the Helix. So all we have to do is click Impulses, go down to the first available slot, click on Import, go to wherever it is that you've got the impulses stored, 
click on WAV. And again, any impulse response that you use with Helix is gonna get converted to 48 anyway. So I'm just gonna use the 48. I'm gonna select the whole row and click open. And as you can see, that's importing the IRs into Helix. Once the IRs are in Helix, it's just a case of clicking each IR block and pointing it to the correct IR. So in this case, it's gonna be IR number 109. which is that Marsh 2512A. Do the same for the other IR block and you're good to go. One other way you can actually do it within the Helix units themselves is to use the first knob to scroll through the IRs to find the one that you're after. So there you go, not too complicated really and kind of the same procedure for both things, whether you're loading in Helix native or you're loading into one of the Helix units itself. Just a matter of loading the preset, loading the IRs and then putting those IR blocks to the right IRs to get the patch working and sounding great. Don't forget that with every patch you get from me, you'll get a user guide that shows you which IR packs you need to get from 3 Sigma Audio and which versions of that IR it is that I used whilst making the patch. Just load them into Helix, point the IR blocks at them and you're good. Hope this video has cleared it up for some of you guys. I know it can be a little bit confusing and a bit daunting when you've got all these files and you're not sure what to put where to make the patch to work. So hopefully this has made some sense and cleared it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up below. If you want to watch another video on my channel, you can click just up here. And don't forget to subscribe. You can do it just there. See you in the next one.